like if I'm depressed or if I'm sad, you know, we carry that energy with each other, you know, and I don't want to give somebody those energies like I want to be healthy and I want to give you the good that's within me. You know what I'm saying? And I want to get the good that's within you as well. And I don't think we always take that into consideration when we have sex with other people because it is a transmutation of energy, you know? And if you're not if you're not wise, you know what I'm saying? If you're not being aware, you could you could pass that on to another person. And I'm just not with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to pick up negative energy from you and I don't want you to pick up negative energy from me. I want to be in a, a stable mindset, a stable uh, position when I am, you know, partaking in ish like that. Shalom. Peace, love, and light to the tribe. It's your boy, Chief Fuqua. Man, you already know we align with the divine. Every time we make a video, you know what I'm saying? So, you probably clicked on the video because you read the title. And this is going to be me just just talking about my experience, you know, and um, maybe just rant a little bit and maybe this video can help somebody or inspire someone, you know, to take control over their reality. So this month, you feel me, marks my uh, one year uh, abstaining from sexual things you know what i'm saying or just sex in general you know what i'm saying and some people might be looking at me like what the fuck like why would you want to go an entire year without sex or an entire year without a relation with like a female or anything like that and before we even like jump into all that i'm gonna try to explain and uh, quickly you know the difference between celibacy and uh abstinence because what i was practicing throughout this year you know what i'm saying was abstinence and it wasn't really celibacy you know because i always do want to keep myself open to relationships or anything that is coming my way i'm always open to receiving you know love i'll never you know just block myself off from that kind of contact with individuals or spirits or anything like that so i was kind of just chilling you know what i'm saying so when you celibate all right that just means you are withstanding yourself from any sexual contact any relations any marriage any type of thing like that you know but with abstinence it's strictly uh sex you know and most of the time people do things like this in order to rear their focus to where it needs to be and last year uh, around this time right this was like around the same time it was actually november 21st 2020 was the last time i had sex and um that entire experience was something that shifted my entire reality now yesterday last year i was into astrology but this year i've tapped more into uh it, and i kind of understand why those things happen and november is uh scorpio season a lot of things change in scorpio season simply because of the archetype of its energy you know what i'm saying which is death and rebirth you know what i'm saying rising from the flames a lot of things dying a lot of things coming out into the light and it's like that and you know my situation was no different than that and i was in a relationship with an individual who i love dearly and i still love him to this day you know what i'm saying and things wasn't just weren't being reciprocated the way they really need to be and basically what had happened was we had fell off right and after we have fell off you know it's still love but of course it's animosity towards each other because that's just kind of how relationships work especially when you um been with the individual for so long you know y'all start to rely on each other's energy and i'm the type of individual i don't like to be possessed by anybody and i don't like to be possessive of anybody either you know i like to give people the freedom that they want because i know that my love is unconditional you know, if I choose to love you, I made that choice and I'm going to stand on that choice. No matter what you do to me, no matter what you say to me, I'm still going to love you. And I'm always going to come from a position of love. You know what I'm saying? And with my relationship with that individual, we started to um, experience, you know, just possessiveness. You know what I'm it saying? It played a role in why I decided to go abstinent in the first place. And plus, like, just with 
you know, people claiming that, you know, they're yours and I'm I'm theirs, you know, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. But when you start to take things too literal, you know what I'm saying? You have to be able to test every spirit that you around, you know, and things can get toxic real quick when you're not being consciously aware of the energy that y'all are projecting onto each other, you know? And with that being said, right, I had sexual relations with this individual in this relationship and they were great, you know what I'm saying? But we started to, like our relationship would start to, like we were both very smart individuals, you know? We were both divine masculine, divine feminine individuals. And we understood how the universe worked, how energy works and that stuff like that. I was the leader and she would be the nurturer and the guider, you know what I'm saying, in our relationship. And we had that dynamic working very well. It's just, you know, people don't always understand that uh, feelings can change. And when certain things in a relationship aren't necessarily being met, people like to, you know, source outward for where, you know, those things can be found. And I'ma just keep it a buck with you. I don't wanna say my experience too much on YouTube because for one, the individual is not here, so I'm not gonna speak on my relationship like that. And for two, I just don't wanna put my business out there on YouTube like that. So I am thinking I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, start a Patreon or something like that. So if you wanna see a Patreon, um, just comment that in the description below i mean in the comments below and just let me know if y'all think that's something that'd be interesting i'll probably make it like super cheap like five dollars and we'd get on there and get more into detail and you know just about like actual like life experiences and shit like that but moving on right so after i had my last sexual experience you know it was kind of a traumatizing experience because so many things had happened in that situation that made me reflect and realize things about myself and I had to, you know, just look and be like, okay, what do I actually want for myself? Because at the end of the day, carnal pleasure is just carnal pleasure. It's something that is always going to be available to you. But if you waste the times that you're living in right now, focusing on things that give you instant gratification, you're going to lose sight of the things that actually are going to bring true peace and true joy into your life. So I told myself, I was like, you know what, I'm going to just say i don't need you know any type of relations that involve like just strictly sex and ish like that i'm all for the business and networking and ish like that but as far as just like sharing my sexual energy with another person it was just a no for me and i and i, and I claim that you know what i'm saying and the reason i did that was because i don't want any more trauma in my life i don't want any more toxic negative energy in my life so i'm gonna just go along and tell y'all how my journey actually went and dang it's already, already at seven minutes but and look, I've been tested a whole lot this year. Like, and y'all gotta understand, especially if you a man, even if you a woman, actually, just any person in general, if you don't know how to control your sexual desires, if you don't know how to control your sexual energy, you're gonna eventually become a slave to them, right? And if you don't know how to transmute that energy into something positive or into something that actually brings actual, you know, significance into your life, like I said, you're gonna be a slave to those desires and you're gonna find yourself repeating certain situations. And I'm all about evolution and growth, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm spiritually aware to understand that. And people don't always notice that they repeating shit, you know, until it happens to them too many times. And then now they're in a situation where they have to reciprocate all that energy once back to them again. So yeah, like coming into 2021, right? I'm like, I'm gonna be cool. But this is the weird thing that I found out while I was trying to uh, protect my energy. And I was trying to uh, just just focus on growth. You know what I'm saying? Like focus on, you know, cleaning my body out, making sure my body is healthy. I'm operating my spaceship um, with the highest functional ability that I can. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to create financial stability in my life, which is something that I have created, you know, I'm trying to manifest uh, certain businesses, certain connections with uh, influencers and, and, and just, you know, just the whole realm of that can be explored as far as networking. And I can proudly say, you know, that's something that I actually did. 
within this journey that I've been taking. And it's a sexual healing journey as well. And I noticed this early on because uh, I'm an individual who like, I live in Cincinnati, Ohio, right? And I'm not like no lame or nothing like that. Like, I'm not gonna say like the whole city know me or anything, but not like super known or nothing like that. But I'm just saying like, like I'm not no fucking lame. And I bet y'all, some of y'all can actually relate, relate to this shit as well. The moment you get out of, out of a relationship is the moment that people start to slide your way. People start to enter into the space and try to, you know, put themselves into that space of like, oh, he's available and it's like that. So as soon as I got out of a relationship, you know, I'm trying to be tunnel vision. It's distractions left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, I've had like, had, like people text me like, oh, I heard you single now. And I'm like, yeah, but what's that got to do with anything? You know what I'm saying? So just understand when you are trying to improve yourself, it is going to be people and instances that come into your life trying to uh, distract you and help and make you descend. You know, when people come into your life and trying to distract you, it's important that you stay focused. Right. And it's important that you test every spirit that comes around you. And I'm going to say this uh, truthfully and honestly, I'm a person with a very high sex drive, you know. Um, I like to have sex. Sex is something that is very, you know, enjoyable for me because I understand that spirituality is a form of sexuality and sexuality is a form of spirituality. So a person that's very spiritual is usually a person that's very sexual as well, that has a very strong sex drive, has a very, uh, you know, just intense sexual energy. So I had to learn how to actually love myself from within and I had to learn how to uh, use my sexual energy in, in the right way. So, get into semen retention, right? Individuals might be watching this asking, like, was he on semen retention the entire time he's been uh, he's been abstaining from uh, sexual contact? Well, no, not necessarily. And of course, I do practice semen retention with like the moon cycles and stuff like that. You know, just trying to just being aware of just time and stuff like that and knowing like when is a good time to actually release your energy and when is a good time to actually hold it because when you build up a certain amount of sexual tension you know it has to be released in some way shape or form and i do recommend for my guys watching this video to uh, get into the practice of tantra if you have uh, been practicing semen retention okay this video isn't really about tantra but i can go in just a little bit you know what i'm saying um as far as like masturbation and ish like that goes just you know it's never good to just spill your seed for no reason everything you do has to be intentional you know what i'm saying even if you learn it to love yourself you have to be intentional right and energy all wherever attention goes energy flows just know that right so i'm learning tantra i'm practicing tantra i'm learning to conserve my sexual energy I'm learning to transmute my things into higher forms of thoughts and just, you know, create my reality from within, right? And I've, for the most part, been successful. And now that I've gotten to a year on my journey, I'm looking and I'm like, do I need sex? Do I need uh, relations the way that I think I do? And now that I have an entirely different perspective on how, you know, a lot of this shit goes and how, you know, people... Because I've realized, like, it's a lot of vampires that try to get into my space simply because of the, just the way that I shine, you know, just the way that I present myself and I hold myself, you know, and I understand why people do that because people want to, people always want something that's new and refreshing, but it's just important that you protect your energy, you know. And it's important that you learn. And I promise you, like, a year of focus can change your entire life. Six months of focus can change your entire life, you know. And I'm still on my sexual healing journey. I don't think I've completely healed from, you know, my past experiences and the relations that I had. And just being ignorant to just energy and how life works and how the world works. And I'm thankful enough that I'm wise enough to use those experiences and and try to make a change for myself, you know, because I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying, um, for the streets. I don't want a female that's for the streets, you know. I want to be able to to say, you know what I'm saying, that I know what it is that I want as far as a relationship, you know what I'm saying, 
and I don't want to settle as far as a relationship either and a lot of people do settle in their life so with my healing journey you know what I'm saying it's a lot of things that I had to reflect on it's a lot of things that I had to change and it's a lot of things that I had to transmute and I'm thankful for this journey that I've been on and I'm going to continue my journey and I'm going to I'm going to continue to, you know, practice uh, semen retention. I'm going to continue to try to raise my energy and my frequency all the time, you know. But with that being said, you know what I'm saying? It's Scorpio season. We are in November and it is the end of a cycle, you know, and I'm ready to move on with my life and I'm open to love in various forms. You know, I've been saying affirmations every single day. I've been um, affirming all types of positivity into my life. I've been creating stability in all forms, you know. And one of the biggest parts of why I didn't really want to be having sex is because I'm like, if I'm having sex, like, I should be, you know, I should have a strong foundation, not only financially, but just like in my home, emotionally, you know what I'm saying? I should be stable emotionally, and I don't want to give other people energy that I don't necessarily want to like you don't want to like see i even think about the other person that i'm having sex with you know i don't want to have sex like if i'm depressed you know what i'm saying i don't see so sex as like a i don't see sex as like a as a uh outlook for that you know or like a um uh, something that i could like you know the word i'm looking for but like if i'm depressed or if i'm sad you know we carry that energy with each other you know and I don't want to give somebody those energies. Like, I want to be healthy and I want to give you the good that's within me. You know what I'm saying? And I want to get the good that's within you as well. And I don't think we always take that into consideration when we have sex with other people because it is a transmutation of energy, you know? And if you're not, if you're not wise, you know what I'm saying? If you're not being aware, you could, you could pass that on to another person. And I'm just not with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to pick up negative energy from you and I don't want you to pick up negative energy from me. I want to be in a, a stable mindset, a stable uh, position when I am, you know, partaking in ish like that. So, you know, I think that's everything I wanted to speak about in this video. I just wanted to get some ish off my chest. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I'm happier than I've ever been in my entire life and like I said I'm open to love in various forms and I'm just thankful you know to be able to wake up and say you know I have the power to change my reality I have the power to control my reality and I'm not trying to possess another individual and nobody's trying to possess me either so with that being said you know I appreciate y'all watching the video especially if you stay to the end don't forget to comment in the in the, in the um comments below if y'all want me to start a patreon it's probably gonna be some cheap shit like two three four five dollars some issue like that but we'll get way more in depth and detail but y'all already know more videos on the way um yeah it's the end of a cycle we continuing to 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 advance through our own abilities you know what i'm saying and also say your 42 ideals of my eye every single day it's probably the most beautiful affirmations that you can do and say to yourself, you see, I'm even implementing it into my own vocabulary. But anyways, I don't want to hold you up too long. It's been your boy, T. Fuka. I appreciate you watching the video. I'm out.